Welcome to SC Cyber Safe. It's been a long, long time, guys. I really missed you all. <sighs> you don't know what it means to for me to um, know you're watching this video right now. So, what's the topic? What I just want to talk about today is just to tell you what I've been through in the past, I think, um, nine months. Okay, yeah, nine months. Just want to tell you what my experience has been in nine months and how I've been struggling with the field to go to in terms of um, career path. Okay, which I know most people might be having such um, or the same problem. So, but after watching this, this video, hopefully your mindset will change about the career path which you are about to choose or which you are into right now. Okay, so we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <music> So, ah, guys, well, it's been a long time, very long time since I shot any um, video. Ah, I know people have been like, what's happening to SC Cyber Safe? Well, it's been a long time. Yeah, I was doing cyber security and until I went for my service um, in a particular state here in Nigeria. So, kind of left i was i've just been busy let me just put it that way so i've not really had time to shoot content and all but my experience during my service here was good i've finished my nyc so my experience has been good um and i've just gotten to see life in a different perspective though and then at the point in my life i was like because you know i was doing cyber security getting to learn everything in cyber security and then looking at um improving myself in cyber security but with time things kept i just kept um asking myself questions and i saw things happening so at the point in my life i was like um this cyber security i'm doing is it really what i want to do so i had to start exploring different options i looked at robotics i took some studies in robotics um in pro python programming so i had already i had already tried about three different other fields but still something is still drawing me to continue cyber security because i just feel with that i can still impact and then i still feel it's something i would like to do um so i've been putting out contents on on cyber security how to be safe online and all which i know some people have been watching and it has been helpful i'm sorry if it has I've not been helpful to some people so far by keeping some people updated but hopefully i will i will do something even if it's not cyber security related. It will be cyber security related, but plus other contents just to get the channel um, more interesting, okay? So I I kept on exploring different fields to see that to be the one that will be quite, um, should I say, um, lucrative in Nigeria. So, because I felt if in as much as I want to do something that I like doing, you should be able to make something out of it. It should not just be something you do and then it's it does not pay you okay so i i started making research and i started seeing i noticed something that cyber security was not really something that um was sought after in nigeria in the in sense that even startups and it's um, yeah some of these startups and some companies really don't see cyber security as something that they should invest in or something that they should buy into but i got discouraged after a while and i decided to start that's why i started exploring different fields but after i get to hear and then think of Think, think of things and then hear from people because I had to seek advice. I was like, I have to do something about this. So, some people kept telling me that, yes, it might not seem that way in Nigeria in the sense of, okay, being creative and all, they might be looking at, okay, web designing, Android, uh, and okay, fintech, and some of some of all those other fields. Yes, it might not be all those other fields that are out there or that are being made noise about, but it's something that is something of the future in Nigeria. In the next two, three years, it's something that people will start um, rushing for. So sometimes, even when something when it came to Nigeria newly, it's 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 it was difficult before it became popular, it became sought sought for. But with the whole COVID nineteen, um, with the whole COVID nineteen com coming into play, things have changed. Things have gone online and also with time, with just with time, Nigeria will start seeing the essence of cyber security and keeping things safe, keeping um, keeping their online, their firewall safe, their company safe, their website secure and everything. They will just see the essence or the need to have a cyber security personnel or someone that can protect um, them online. Okay, so aside that, I, just let me continue the story. So, like I was saying, so someone was telling me that 
I should not just limit myself, which is an advice I'm going to give everyone. Irrespective of your field, you might be really good at something and then you feel because no one is really into it or no one is really talking about it, you then sit back or quit from it. No, just keep on going. Because I just feel, yes, cyber security might not really be sought after, though they are top companies, those top companies that know what they are doing, they really um, buy into that, but majority don't. So, but why limit myself was what someone told me. Why limit yourself when you could look further than Nigeria, you could look abroad, that this is what, you know, other countries, they really... Um, they don't joke with cyber security because most of their things are online in the cloud and all so they need to secure those things they need to secure people's data not like nigeria which, which for now they don't really take um cognizance of, or or should i say um they don't take note of security like that but with time it's going to be something that they will take note of because as things are going online everything is getting everything is getting digital they will start taking note of it so i after getting this advice i felt okay why limit myself why try to drop something that i actually liked doing so i just told myself no that i'm not going to um stop okay i told myself that i was not going to stop that no matter what it takes i was still going to continue so um right now i'm in the state of i'm still learning the latest scams the latest um social engineering tricks and then how to secure firewalls and all those things. So basically, right now I'm still in the learning phase. I'm still trying to learn because after, for a while I dropped it and I was exploring several fields. But I feel now I can go back to what I usually like doing, and then hopefully it plays out well. So I'm not. I don't. I'm one thing. I'm just just an advice. Don't always look at the lucrative part about okay. I need money from this. I need money from that. Just try and make impacts in where you are in whatever field you, you are whatever business you are doing just try and be the best in it there's no how every every particular field that's just one thing i got to know myself nobody even told me this every particular field is important every particular thing you do it's important one way or the other it might not be important to many people but it might be important to one person or one company that will really value that thing which you are bringing to the table so i told myself that and then i've decided to keep continuing with cyber security sorry so um this this channel uh i know i've missed you or some people that are still subscribers even though i've not posted anything so far but hopefully with time at least once a week i should just um bring up a content even if it's not on cyber security because i still need to um up myself in that but even if it's not on cyber security at least just to tell you what i've learned and just a piece of advice for people who are, are struggling in terms of choosing a field Please, if you are struggling in terms of what field, you don't know if you are supposed to go to this, please don't go to a field because of the money. Don't go to a field because it's quite lucrative. Oh, people are going for this field. This, this. Go because you love doing that. Go because you you gain a lot. Go because you can change the normal in that field, even if it's web design. Don't go there because others are going there. I know web design, they're always looking for a web designer. Go because you like doing web design. Go because you like do, you like everything about web design. Go because you will make an impact. You will do something different from what other web designers are doing. So I feel that should be um, your main um, strive and not just to um, just not just to go for the money. Money, the money is good, but if you go and then you are just looking for the money, you will end up going fading away. Why those with, that went to it because they really like it. We, you see them soar, you see them go higher than you. So I hope, um, this is also an advice I give to myself about some months ago do, to just stick and do, do the cyber security like that, no matter how it takes, no matter what it seems like. I know it's quite relevant, even not even if it's not in Nigeria abroad, and it's something I enjoy doing. So I hope you I hope you all have been safe um, the whole corona period. I'm, I'm, I, I thank God, I hope my, nothing happens to my subscribers. So, Thank you all for being there. You can share this video to those that, have, that, that you feel you might be having difficulties with um, what field to go to or what field to choose. Let them choose. Tell them to choose. You can even send a video. Let them choose that which they can do, what they know they can excel in, and let them do it very well to the very best. Let them do it to the very best. Forget the money. The money will come if you do something different. Did you hear that? The money will come if you do something different, not if you just do it or just do the normal, you just enter it. If you do something different, the money will definitely come. So, um, not to extend the video, stay safe.
and if you've not subscribed please subscribe to this video this is sc cyber safe we talk on cyber security i give you um tips on cyber security or what is happening recently the type of scams that are used and then i think i don't really educate more on cyber security like what cyber security entails but the social engineering part of it is what i do on this channel okay so stay safe subscribe and like this video if you really enjoyed the content i'll see you next time perhaps next next week i'll drop one video so Stay safe.